Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the first night of redemption. It's the Hot Springs Cinnamon Bears. It's the Manitoba Mega Moose here in Hot Springs, Arkansas, where uh, the Hot Springs Arena will be home to one team of fortune, one team of misfortune. Only one can prevail. We walked in with six teams. We have five of them, and by the end of tonight, we will have four. Getting to know the rosters that are, are going to be on the ice for this one. The starting lineup for the Hot Springs Cinnamon Bears. I believe it's everybody that's on the roster except Pino. They're going to cycle in. They're going to cycle out. Orange, the captain here this season, once again behind the Cinnamon Bears desk. Looking to captain his team, keep the morale high, and keep the uh, level of play higher down there on the ice as uh, they take to it here in tonight's best of three. Unglued Snail, the top goal scorer, alongside Addict and Agent P with the new acquisition. With the dropping of me, Agent P stepping in alongside, I believe it was Robertine, also known as Zach. Um, really filling the shoes in Hot Springs here this season, keeping them alive, keeping them fresh, and uh, pulling themselves up to a divisional spot as the second seed of uh, the Rockets division, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, looking to take to the ice, looking to prove what they got, and uh, looking to prove what they don't. We're going to see everything unfold live here tonight. And for the Manitoba Mega Moose, Papa Nut here with the captaincy uh, once again here this season for Manitoba. Rebranding from St. Jerome Mega Moose from last season, if you remember them, alongside the new uh, European acquisitions of Vlad and Galaxy. Uh, last time these two teams met on the ice, Alex H ADHD was on the ice to try to tuck them to bed. And, uh, well, Really didn't go Cinnamon Bears' way. Cinnamon Bears ended the season with a 9-4 record, seeding second in the Rockets Conference. Manitoba filing, filing into the third-place seed from the opposing conference, the Beauties, with a 6-5 record. Um, the Beauties Conference had less teams, so there was less games to be played against your own conference. Throughout the Prospect Division, there was two conferences, the Rockets and the Beauties. You play your own conference twice, your opposing conference one time to uh, seed it out. Top two out of each division got a, uh, a direct divisional spot into this bracket. First seeds got a buy. Second seeds would play the next wild card spots, the next two best records throughout the Prospect Division. Manitoba got the second card. Ottawa Valley. Got the first card. Ottawa Valley already exiting early against the uh, the Kodako Karens, if I'm not mistaken. No, the uh, Pucks Lifers ended up beating the Kodako Karens on the opposite side of the bracket. They're going on to play the uh, play Wichita. Winner of this game, going to go on to play the Ottawa Drinkers. But Manitoba got all five players in the lobby ready to go here for the first. Hot Springs still getting warmed up. We still got a few more minutes before uh, the drop of the puck here tonight. But taking a look at the roster statistic throughout the regular season, Unglued Snail undauntingly. One of the top goal scorers in the Prospect Division here this season. 33 goals, 11 games played with 51 points. He's also the top save maker out of the boys in red here tonight. They'll be defending the right side of your screen in the red jerseys. Manitoba defending the left in the blue. Galaxy, the man to watch here tonight. 27 goals, 8 games played, 41 points. Leads his team in most of those categories except for the games played. Of course, I don't know if Pino is here tonight for Hot Springs, but he does have the majority of the, uh, the Iron Man role whenever it comes to the Cinnamon Bears roster. He is in here tonight. Bears have all five players. Manitoba have all five players. So whatever line combination they want to run with, want to work with, want to lean with, they'll be able to do um, here tonight as, uh, as we look to get this one started here shortly. But uh, talking about the odd shot players to watch, here they are. We got Unglued Snail and Galaxy down there on the ice. Manitoba have a high high chance of goal scoring here tonight. Of course, Hot Springs having a new dynamic down there on the ice. Unglued Snail, the man to watch, as uh, second place in saves, sixth place tied for goal scored throughout the Prospect Division. Uh, one of the man, one of the men that'll be on the ice tonight that are uh, going to be a little deadly to watch. You got to mark your man. You got to play the transitional game. The entire, I think this game will be won or lost in the neutral zone, and I don't think that'll be a stretch of the imagination here tonight. You got to win the turnover game. You got to win the uh, the shot majority. Uh, last time these two teams played, completely different lineup than we're going to see here tonight for this uh, for the Manitoba Mega Moose. It was Alex ADHD, Galaxy, and Papa Nut. Um, Cinnamon Bears had me on Addict and Pino. Very strange line combination for the Hot Spring Cinnamon Bears. We put all of our twos. The team at the, the team at that point was we had one three, we had one one, and we had three twos. And what I mean by that is we had three midfielders playing a game, and it went just about as well as you thought. Manitoba coming out on top 13-7 at the end of that ball game, and uh, it was a rough one to swallow. I, that was that was brutal, and I, I can say that because I was on the ice for that. I won't be on the ice for this one, though. And so uh, it's going to be interesting. At, at Agent P, a challenger, a pro player, plays the three a lot. He'll be on the starting roster tonight for the Cinnamon Bears alongside Snail and Addict. 
And uh, it's going to be interesting to see how these uh, these two teams really match up against one another with their best of the best on the ice here tonight. Uh, Vlad, Pediatric, Patrick, and Papanut on the ice tonight for the Manitoba Mega Moose Galaxy. Going to be sitting on the bench for the start of this first one. And uh, it is a best of three, so at least six periods will be played between these two teams unless there is a mercy roll that comes into effect. If at any time during the game there's a score difference of 10 or it really can't be more. If the goal, goal difference ever hits 10, we call it early, we move into the next chapter. Whether or not that's game two, game three, or even the end of the series does not matter. And uh, we'll just uh, we'll move on with our lives and tell this story to our kids someday. But uh, Pediatric Patrick, playing for the Manitoba Mega Moose first season here, uh, picking up a few games under his belt, played seven periods, three games this season, has four points to his calling card. Going to really be battling that Western ping as he plays tonight for the Mega Moose on the starting line. Uh, Popping out, of course, out there with Flad. Going to be an interesting line combination. Either way, we have six players ready to rock, six players ready to roll. We're taking it down the ice for the first time here tonight. Manitoba left side in the blue, Hot Springs right side in the red. The puck is dropped, and the Prospect Conference semifinals are underway. Top side, Patrick looking for that slot pass out in front. Snail takes that one right away off the back end. Look for Attic down the ice, not able to find him. Popping out with a long distance shot going barely wide off the far side. Patrick looking down low. Vlad getting off the back end. Here's Agent P with an out off the back end. Looking for Snail on the near side. Fumbles that one as Vlad sends it into the near side corner. Manitoba coming out with all gas, no breaks so far here in this matchup. Agent P look for the cross ice pass over to Attic. Near side finds it at the point, hits the tip of his stick, loses possession off Vlad. Snail keeps this one down low. Popping out here to keep possession back for the Manitoba Mega Moose. Here's Pediatric Patrick with the puck now. Looks down to the near side, banks that one off the wall. Vlad there with a swing towards the cage, but not able to find contact. Agent P banks it off the end wall to himself, near side to himself once more. Patrick there to try to meet this one at the near side point. The servers have just been absolutely brutal these past few days. In the open division playoffs we saw last night, uh, Fleck the Duck ended up casting his own perspective on that one. And uh, the servers just really not happy with us here on the East Coast of America. And hopefully that doesn't transpire into the, uh, the more meaningful games later down the line. Not to say this one's not meaningful. Winner of this best of three goes on into the conference finals, and then after that, the grand finals. Snail topside, forehand shot goes off Vlad. Vlad, you're going to scoop this one down and in for the Manitoba Mega Moose. Agent P swings that one into the corner. Patrick to the point, finds Vlad. Back down low to Patrick. Patrick trying to fight his demons off to that top side as he finds his way back over to Poppinut. Poppinut, forehand pass, swing and a miss. Vlad almost able to get contact with that one. Would have been a short shot goal. Popping it down low. Here's Agent P for Hot Springs, looking off the back end. Vlad takes it off the post, not able to get the wraparound on the far side. To find a way to the cage, 3.30 to go here in the first. We're still scoreless and shotless so far here in the first. Papana looks top side to the uh, the British Columbia Beaver captain. Games for the uh, the Western Division, the Masters Division. Pediatric Patrick goes off the hip of Papanut. Snail shooting near side and wide. Here's Papanut once more down to the corner. Snail looking to ring this one off the back end out in front, but not able to get it through the defense. AJP knocks it loose. A A A Addicts trying to find a pass over to Snail, just not quite able to get that one going. Agent P getting this one down low. Here's popping up with it now. Popping out. A forehand pass goes off. Agent P near side. Unglued Snail here with the puck now. Forehand pass over to Addict. Addict down low in the enemy corner. Popping out there. Fights it free off the backhand. Looks to leak this one near side. Down the straight. Off the window. Patrick out to the point. Only finds Addict back at his opposing blue line. Good try there, but not able to find the cage. Snail throws that one over to Addict. Addict looking to return the favor. Popping up. Lift this one out of the zone. Agent P, the last man back. Lost to Vlad. Scoop towards the cage, but not on. Here's Snail with it now. Vlad fights with him in the far side, Hot Springs corner. Agent P here looking to step this one down the straight. Popping up, throws it right back. Agent P once more with the puck, with body position. Off the forehand, looks for the pass over to Snail. Shoots, nice save by Popping up, sends off to the far side and wide. Snail off the back end, pass over to Attic, swinging that, not able to make contact. Here's Pediatric Patrick with it now, with 2.10 to go here in the first. One shot, no goal so far here in game one. Popping up, off Attic, Snail with a shot, that one goes off the near side. Snail. Addict, forehand pass down low. Here's popping up with it once more. Pass top side over to Pediatric Patrick. Backhand, looking for that shot lane. Swing and a miss. Goes off to Agent P, and he's going to dump this one down and in. 152, and taking here in the first. Both teams playing very hesitant, very feel it out stage. Not one, no, neither team really wanting to make the first mistake. Coming back in a grind fest like this, where it's just about who has the, the majority of shots. Agent P, empty net. It goes over to Pedi looking for Addict on that. Goes off Patrick. Snail with a shot for the point, not able to get that one to go. Hopping up, down low in his near side corner. Agent P there stepping in, trying to find his way over to Snail. Snail off the back end, look for the pass off the enemy cage to himself. Not able to get that one past Patrick. Hopping up here to win that battle. Goes off Agent P, shooting off the post. Goes off Snail out to Attic. Not able to get the shot released as he pulls his one back near side over to Snail. Snail out in front. Nice stop there by Vlad Vakum. Here's Snail with it down low on the enemy side. I'm going to take this one down the near side wall. Gets this one down the length. Pediatric Patrick stopped by Addict. 
Attic there trying to make him fumble it, able to do so off the backhand. Scooped over to Snail. Snail with one man to beat. Popping up, collapses on the wounded gazelle, gets the kill. Gets this one back out the other way. Here's Vlad with an album with 57 seconds to go here in the first period of game one. Agent P stick checked away. Here's Patrick with an owl. Backhand pass out to the neutral zone. Vlad there takes it. Stopped there by Attic on the shot attempt. Here's Vlad down low in the enemy corner. Out to Patrick. Patrick dancing, shooting. Nice try, but not able to get it in. Here's Agent P. Goes off Attic to your side and down the length. Popping up. Looks topside for Patrick. Snail there reading that one. Takes the passing lane away. Tries to offer the opposition or the uh, the option there. Attic topside. Finds its way down to Snail with 30. Patrick the lone wolf near side. It's one man to pass it to. And that's popping up on the top. 23 seconds to go. Lobs it neutral. Goes off Agent P in near side and into the corner. Up and up. Top side. Patrick's got some elbow room to work with. Snail trying to collapse on him as fast as possible. Gets this one down to Vlad. Vlad here looking for the near side point. Agent P there keeping him low. Sends it along the wall. Here's popping up with it now. Down low along the enemy goal line. Agent P there picking that one up for Hot Springs. Five seconds remain here in the first. Agent P looking for one last drive off the back end. A shot made, and it's just wide. Uh, and that's the end of the first. Here at the Hot Springs Arena, it's 0-0 at the end of the first. Manitoba making the only save so far. Perfect game for the goaltenders. And uh, they're going to be feeling that one. One thing that I did notice watching the card last, um, the, the post hit really going to come into effect here tonight. Whether or not they're going to be a deciding member is going to be a, uh, a turning table that we're going to have to keep an eye on here tonight. Either way, we're ready to rock here in the second. Back down on the ice. Hot Springs defend the right and the red. Manitoba defend the left and the blue. Snail to Addicts. Addicts with one man to beat. Popping up sits in the crease. Shooting, scoring. Top left corner. And it's 1-0 Hot Springs. Good spot there by Addict, able to find a way to get that shot on. Papana just taking the post away and hoping it hits him. 12 seconds into it, Hot Springs in the lead, 1-0. Vlad Bacon, I'm gonna take this one topside, Papana, Patrick, shot goes wide into the near side corner. Agent B here doubles, at, doubles after it. Trying to find its way off Pediatric Patrick. Snail gets it over to Addict. Addict off the back end. Not able to get that through pass over to Agent P in time. Snail back to Addict. Goes off his hip over to Papa Nut. Papa Nut. Snail. Down on the near side wall. Gets it out to the neutral zone. Here's Vlad with an out for Manitoba. Goes off the near side. Papa Nut trails after it. Not able to beat Snail to it. Pediatric Patrick down low for the boys in blue. Trying to get this one out of the defensive end. Snail sandwiched between two opposing players. That's Addict. Shooting. Nice save by Patrick. Sent out to Vlad. Vlad backhand shot goes wide of the cage. Agent P ready to defend the cage at all means necessary here. Snail backhand pass in the air towards Addict. Not able to catch that one as it goes into the corner. Here's popping up with it now. One minute in here into the second. One shot, one goal. Hot Springs on top so far. Great shot to get themselves on the board. And that shot clock. Here's Snail forehand shot stopped by popping up. Bank pass over to Addict. The backhand scoop not able to find its way to the cage. Here's Vlad Bacon with it now. Attic there to pressure him. Out to Snail. Snail back in. Scoring off the top right corner right where you stick the stamp. And it's 2-0 Hot Springs. 3.45 to go here in the second. Great challenge by Addicts. And Snail is going to find the empty corner. Tuck it to bed. Here's Papa Nut top side looking for the pass over to Vlad. Vlad back in. Shot goes into the, near si or the far side corner. Attic here looking to pick it up for the Cinnamon Bears. Pediatric Patrick down low for the Mega Moose. Back pass over to Papa. Shooting goes top side and wide. Vlad in the near side corner looking to wheel and deal this one back out to the point. Papa Nut here off the back end. Shooting. Oh, what a shot that would have been. Goes off the far side and plinks wide. Addict. Looks near side over to Snail. Snail pulling top side. Agent B here able to get it off the boards. Papa Nut there immediately to apply that pressure. Here's Pediatric Patrick with it now with 310 to go here in the second. Patrick, top side. Looking to, get, looking to get this one out of the zone. Snail here trying to get a little bit of physicality going. Down in the near side corner. Popping up, finds his way to Vlad. Vlad here, just looking to take his way out for a pass out in front. Nice stop there by Agent P. A secondary try by Popping up, not able to go either. Top side Attic, stop by Patrick. Bringing this one down low, back into his own defensive end. Patrick here looking to get a little bit of elbow room. Swings that one down the straight, goes off Agent P over to Popping up. Popping up here from Manitoba. Forehand shooting, nice save by Snail. The second best save maker in the prospect division, making his first save here tonight for the Hot Springs Cinnamon Bears, only outdone by, I believe, the Puck Slapper's very own Bro Bergerda. I could be wrong there, but I feel like I'm pretty confident. Popping out shooting, goes off the side of the Cajun wide. Pass over to Snail. Wide here with it now. Forehand shot goes off the near side and wide. Leaks its way back into the Hot Springs corner. Defense owned. Looking down the far side of the flank, goes off Snail back to Attic at the red line, give and go. Forehand almost able to get it to find its way. Oh, the lost puppy. 
just like the industry. Looking to bring it back to town. Addict off the backhand, stopped there by Vlad. Out in front, goes all the way back down to the Cinnamon Bears zone with 2.03 to go here in the second. Here's Agent P with a puck now, trying to lean his way near side. Addict swinging at that one, not able to make contact. Here's popping up with an out. Off the forehand, loses that one. Goes off, snails it, not able to take it neither. Snailed top side, tries to push that one to the yellow. That bottom trim along the boards. Addict finds that pass back over to Agent P. Agent P there scoops it out. Goes off snail to the top side. Off the back end. Looking to find a way to fish that one out in front. Popping out here with an owl. Forehand pass down low. Not able to hit pediatric Patrick in stride. Agent P trying to fight for his rights to party, but Patrick will find a way out to Vlad. Vlad shooting off the body of pediatric Patrick. And it goes in. Oh, a good try. Off the point. Able to make it work. Cutting the lead in half. It's 2-1. to one. Manitoba on the board here in the second. Defense wins championships, but you still got to score goals to get there. Top save maker was Cat Collector. My bad, not uh, not Bro Bagurta for the first time in a long time in uh, the intermediate and the prospect division. Bagurta kind of making his uh, his name known, known as the goaltender throughout uh, the lower ranks. Surprising to see someone else take the, uh, the this title of Stonewall from him. Pediatric Patrick here with the puck now. Looking to even this one up before we go into the second intermission. 57 seconds remain. Hot Springs still on top, 2-1. to one. Attic top side, outer slot, not able to get the shot. He does get the shot on target, but a very lofty one at that. Pediatric Patrick here with the puck now. Loses that one over to Agent P. Going to scoop that one down and in. Popping up top side, out of the zone. Down the full 200 foot of ice. Snail there on the defensive side, looking towards the near side wall. Banks it off the glass. Pediatric down low. Vlad here with it now. Vlad off the backhand, stopped by Attic. Down low, Agent P. Agent P looking top side for Snail. Down the stretch, just barely out of reach with 30 seconds to go. Hot Springs looking to get one more, get that cushion back. Shot off the near side and wide. A long distance call. Nobody there to pick up the phone on the other end, though. Here's Poppin' up top side, looking for a lengthy pass to himself off the boards. Snail there picking that one up, looking to uh, collect the change, looking to make the dollar near side. 12 seconds to go here in the second. Here's Agent P with it now. Agent P backhand pass. Addict off the backhand, not able to get that one through. Poppin' up, popped out to Vlad. Agent P towards the cage with not enough gumption to get it on. And that's the end of the second period of action. 1 2 at the end of two here at Hot Springs Arena. Hot Springs have the lead over the Manitoba Mega Moose. Five shots to the four, two goals to one. Possession time very lopsided towards the boys in blue. Hot Springs playing the better passing game. They got the more quality chances, they got more quality time down in the offensive zone. We're going to see. What it all comes out to. Patrick, one goal. Corrupt Wolfie doesn't exist. All six parties ready to rock. All six parties ready to roll. We're back down on the ice for the third. And final period of action. I accidentally clicked join, but it didn't matter. I don't know how many people saw that. My heart absolutely stopped. Oh, my goodness. Hot Springs right side and Manitoba left side. We play on here in the third. Agent P, near side out of the zone. Going to dump this one down and in. Here's popping out with the puck now. Going to take possession top side off the far side window. Patrick here down low in the corner. Looking to pull this one down and around town off the back end. Looking for that shot. Hits the post. Goes off the near side and wide. Patrick out in front. Snail keeps it going. 30 seconds into it. Manitoba already saying we have what it takes. We have the chances. Now we just got to capitalize on them. Patrick near side popping up. Pulling. Goes off Snail on along that near side wall. Just popping up back into his own defensive end. Forehand pass, looks for that hook. Agent P gets a piece of that one over to Attic. Stopped by Vlad Bacon, bringing this one back down on the defensive side. And it's over here with possession. Stopped by Snail on the back pass. Nobody there to pick it up in a red jersey. Pediatric Patrick stopped by Attic. Snail getting a piece of that one, popping up better body position except Attic. Attic off the back end. Looking for that shot, goes off the hip of Patrick to the top side wall. He's going to look to lean this one near side with four minutes remaining here in the third and final period of action in regulation. Popping up, dumps this one down and in. Agent P here to meet and greet that one down to the near side. Agent P, forehand shot, looking for that one. Deflected wide early on there by Pediatric Patrick. Popping out, loses that one. Snail shooting, scoring, and the gap's back to two. Snail just waiting his time, earning his patience. Able to bring that one out on top. And he's feeling pretty all right about it. Attic, looking to bring this one around. Sound to the top side, 3.40 to go here. The third period of action. Pediatric Patrick stopped there by Agent P. Agent P looks near side, a forehand pass down the straight over to Snail. Snail on the backhand, look for that hook goes off. Bacon back out to the point. Attic looking to lob this one down and in for a prayer. Snail out to Attic, shooting, goes off the forehand and wide. Snail goes corner to corner, top side over to Attic. Attic, shooting, nice save there by Poppinut. Poppinut here with the puck now, backhand shooting, hits the post, and that one goes off the far side and wide. Just barely a game of inches. 
Two post hit from Manitoba, absolutely breaking the hearts of the Mega Moose fans here tonight. Just a few inches, a little bit of wind would have changed this to a tie ball game. Patrick, great stick check, looking to bring this one back over to Manitoba. Off the back end, rings this one down on the defensive side. Here's popping up with it now. Attic there getting a stick check on him. Will it be enough to take it away? Backhand pass over to Snail. Will it be enough? Scoring off the forehand. And he's able to find its way into the back of the twine, making it a three-goal difference here in the third. Stand in the right spot long enough. The puck eventually will find you. Whether or not you're in a scoring chance is the question. 4-1 on the board. Cinnamon Bears on top for now. Back pass there by Vlad Bacon over to Papanut. Papanut here for Manitoba. Come back a little bit more difficult. Still on the board, though. Here's Pediatric Patrick down low, looking to bring this one out for a nearside wraparound. Attic there, taking away the physical game. Agent P taking away the post. Agent P here to pressurize. Bring this one down low. Here's Pediatric Patrick with it now with 2.22 to go here in regulation. Snail topside, stick checked away. Bacon hands that one back off to Papanut. Attic swing and a miss goes off to Pediatric Patrick. Patrick there, topside, 2.13 to go here in the third period of action. Manitoba got some ground to make up. Patrick, beautiful dancing in the neutral zone, pass topside over to Vlad. Vlad looking to ring this one off the forehand, brought back down low. Here's Agent P out of the zone, off the snail, shooting, scoring! Oh, what a passing play. Oh my goodness, absolutely beautiful. Agent P right on the stick, right on the money. Oh my goodness, right, right in time, right on the tape. Beautiful catch by Snell, great release, 5-1. Hot Springs might have just put the final nail in the coffin. No, that can't be it. They're not dead yet. They're happy, they're happy. 153 to go in the third. Pediatric Patrick finding a present from Santa that came early. They're back within three. Patrick looking down low, has the step to it. Look for that pass out to Vlad. Forehand back in, looking for the shots. Oh, what a beautiful dancing play. Oh my goodness. Absolutely deadly with the puck down to the scoring opportunity. Got Attic to overextend on the under. Agent P just hugging the post, hoping it hits him on the other. And we're back within two. 142 to go here in the third. This is a score we haven't seen in a hot second. Vlad Bacon looking down low over to Addict. Addict here with the puck now. Looking to leak this one off the near side. Addict near side. Look for Snail stick checked away there by Pediatric Patrick. Finds his way back over to his captain. Here's popping up from Manitoba over to Pediatric Patrick. One man back, pass over top side, finds his way into the corner to Vlad. Vlad here, backhand, forehand, and he just walks it in. It's four to five. My goodness. Agent P thought he had the post hugged, but uh, just not hugged tight enough. 118 to go, one goal's the gap. It's anybody's ball game now. Snail. Looking to break this one out and around off the back end. Goes off Papanut and wide off the far side. Good stop there once again by Papanut keeping his team in this one. Looked like Sergey Bobrovsky back between the pipes with the Florida Panthers. One minute to go here in regulation. Papanut takes it back in. Not able to streak with it. Just barely off kilter. Patrick down low. Area pass over to Vlad. Vlad back to the point. Finds Papanut back in. Shooting near side off the cage and wide. Here's Agent P towards that top side with 50 seconds to go here in the third period. Agent P back in. Lobbed it towards Snail. Not able to head that one in. Here's Papanut down the straight, trying to get this one down into the O-zone. Finds his way off to Agent P. Agent P crosses it down center dot. Goes off to Snail. Snail bank pass, trying to keep this one down north for the winter. Here's Papanut with it now. Going to be sniffed out towards that top side of the ice. Cross ice pass over to Patrick. Patrick, forehand, back in. Looking to do it again on the near side this time. Top side, finds his way loose out to Vlad. Then stick checked away over to Papanut. Near side, Patrick. Backhand, shoot it, goes off P. And what a save. Sweeps with the puck. Keeps the rebound cleaned out to the corner. Now and keeps Hot Springs in this game. 10 seconds to go. Papanut needs one more. Snail fump, forces the fumble off the back end. Hulk hooking it. Hits the post. That one goes wide. And that looks like it might do it. As Snail there just keeps the pressure applied. They take home game one here at Hot Springs Arena. 5-4. The final score. Hot Springs hanging on. That tail end of the third. The comeback was almost there. But uh, the way the Cassius Curse works, as long as you make even statements, the teams will play it out. 11 shots to nine, five goals to four. Hot Springs able to squeak it out, take the pride with it. We'll see how they fare here in this next one. Let's take a look at the individual stats. Manitoba, hat trick for Pediatric Patrick. Beautiful game. We're going to see. He's. I would assume he's going to stay in for the second game. There's no way on earth Manitoba takes that man off the ice. Vlad also playing a fabulous game. Four out of the team, six saves coming off the stick of popping up. Really, really hunkering down during that third period of action on the other side of the ice. Agent P. 
really playing the defensive role, keeping his team in the game. Saves really don't matter a whole lot whenever it comes to regular slap shot. But in that game, in that time, in those moments, most of those saves are crucial. Agent P4 of the team's five saves. Snail having four of the team's five goals. Addict having the other one. Beautiful onslaught for both sides of the ice. Not a very possession-heavy game coming out of the Hot Springs corner. But sometimes you don't need possession. You just need shots on goal. You need to get pucks in deep, pucks to the net, get those bodies to the boards, and uh, get them going. I, I really don't know what happened there. But uh, we'll see what they got. Six on the ice, ready to rock. Six on the ice, ready to roll. We're taking this one back downtown. Hot Springs up in the series. Will it be enough to capitalize and finish it off here in a two-game sweep? Or will the Manitoba Mega Moose bring it back here in game two? Pina looking to take it away. First step on the ice. Galaxy also stepping on for Papanut from the Manitoba Mega Moose. We'll see how these really change the dynamics with Addict on the bench. Really... Uh, filling in the gaps from uh, Snail's offensive game and Agent P's defensive. Pino takes it, looks for the dice near side, not able to find the dance nor the shoes to do it. Galaxy, backhand pass. Pino picks it off, not able to find the net on the end of the rainbow. Snail, Pino almost had it in stride out in front of the danger zone. Snail, top side, looks to take this one back to the point. Here's Agent P keeping this one down low off the backhand, hooks it out to Pino. Pino just a little too far behind. Maybe the pass was too far led. I'm not a guru. I don't know what you want from me. Snail, back in. Throws this one down and in. 4-12 to go here in the first. Hot Springs repositions. Pediatric Patrick topside shooting. Goes off flat and in it goes. Why nothing. Manitoba able to find a way to get it down the ice, get it on net, and get the goal. Beautiful pass. Beautiful shot. 53 seconds into it here in the first. It's 1-0 for the Mega Moose. Vlad looking for that crease. Patrick getting a few stick checks off the back end, looking to hook this one near side. Out in front, shooting, oh, what a shot, able to find another one. Two nothing on the board. Manitoba Mega Moose starting to figure out the Hot Springs defense. Snail, looking to bring that one back over to Agent P. Agent P off the backhand, looking for that scoop downtown. Vlad taking it away, one man to beat back. Not able to find the shot on target in time. Forehand dumped down by Vlad, just looking to stay alive. Agent P topside, looking for Pino, on stride, shooting! Oh, and a save by Galaxy. Now one comes off to the far side into the corner. Kept alive by Hot Springs on the rebound control. Here's Snail topside, looking for Pino on, on the far side corner. Pino out to the point, goes off Patrick. Snail there fighting for it, goes off Pino's hip. Galaxy there trying to keep that one out for the boys in blue. Patrick off the backhand, chipped towards himself, not able to find it. Here's Snell, forehand shot goes into the near side wall. Here's Vlad all alone. Hooks that one out. Pino takes it away. Backhand. Snell shooting off the hip and it goes in. Oh my goodness, the one time shot. Pino to Snell. Able to find a way to send that one back. And Hot Springs might be down, but they're not out of this one. 3.05 to go here in the first. The boys play on here in game two. Agent P saw it. that might have been a costly miss, but he makes it out unscathed. Pino swinging that one, trying to get that one out to the defensive or the offensive zone. Vlad keeps it in. Here's Agent P down low for the boys in red. Pediatric Patrick here with it down in the opposing corner. Remember that pass back out to the point. Galaxy here with it now. Galaxy. And top side, not one that I was expecting to see play the three. Top of goal scoring, I think third place and saves made throughout the regular season for the Manitoba Mega Moose. Galaxy really wasn't the one I thought was going to be playing defense here tonight. But hey, it's working out. They're up 2-1 to one so far here in game one. Got to tighten a few bolts, cross a few T's, and dot a few I's. Vlad top side, look for Patrick. Patrick danced out to the point. Galaxy near side, trying to get this one away from Pino. Pass off the boards. Here's Vlad with it now. Vlad with a hook towards the cage, but not on. Here's Patrick down low. Agent P has the step. Bring this one back out to the point. Patrick, Galaxy shot off Snail, goes off near side. Here's Vlad Bacon back out to the point. Snail there trying to stick check him away. Galaxy going to have the better body position back on the defensive side. Looks to streak this one top side of the ice. Down the straight, a long distance shot. Not able to get that one through the defense. Great shot by Snell. Goes off Galaxy. Galaxy two on one. Vlad hooking, shooting. Oh, what a save by Agent P. Great read on the play. Able to adapt to it. Galaxy shot blocked away by Agent P at the point. Here's Patrick. Snail shot into the corner. Snail comes after it towards that top side wall. Going to fish this one free out to the slot. Not able to find a way to get it to work with him quite yet. As he backs off. Point pass, not able to find anyone in a red jersey. 127 to go. Pino, pressure on. 
Finds his way to Agent P. Agent P backhand finding a passing lane. Goes off Galaxy to the near side. Pino down low. Finding his way over to Pediatric Patrick with 117 to go here in the first period of action. Top side pass Vlad here with it now down low in the corner. Passed out to the point. Patrick at his own blue line. Pressured by Snail. Fumbles it. Goes off to Pino. Fumbles it. Galaxy shooting near side and wide. Goes over to Vlad. Stick checked away there by Snail. Here's Vlad with it near side. Look for that hook around. Not able to find it. 60 seconds to go here. Snail to now. Looks to dime this one down the straight. Shot goes barely wide off the near side. Patrick here with an out with 54 seconds to go here on the first period of action. Bank pass Vlad off the back end. Stopped by Snail on the straight pass. Looking for that centering slot. Here's Snail. Jives with it. Forehand shot goes wide. Galaxy here trails after it. Pino does the same. Galaxy. Forced into the corner. Pino goes top side along the outer slot. Snail here at the point. Regains possession. Backhand stopped there by Pediatric Patrick. Going to cycle this one back down low. Here's Galaxy with an out. 30 seconds remaining here in the first period. Snail takes it. Shoot scars. And they take the they take that difference on the board. We're tied at twos. I don't know why the scoreboard said otherwise. Very strange. We're tied at twos here in the first. Manitoba Hot Springs. Not able to find a difference on the board quite yet. Patrick hooks near side. Vlad here takes it. Shooting off the far side and wide. Maybe I was just predicting the future. Who's to say? Agent P. Hooks near side. Vlad here with an out. Stick checked away by Pino. Pino looking down low. Vlad out in front. Ten seconds remain. Pino gets it deep. Snail going to be the first man to it for Hot Springs. Looking for that backhand pass towards that top side. Galaxy here for the Mega Moose. Three seconds to Pino out in front. Nobody there to send it away. As time expires on the clock, we're sent into the second intermission with a 2-2 ball game here in Hot Springs, Arkansas at Hot Springs Arena. Three shots apiece, two goals apiece. Can't get more even than that. Both these teams not giving each other an inch, let alone a mile here tonight. All along the board, about as even as you can get it. The only really lopsided stat down there is the passing game. And, well, you can have as many passes as you want, but if you don't score, you don't score. Two goals for the Manitoba Mega Moose, both of them coming off Vlad's stick. The other side of the ice, both of them coming off Snail's stick. At it coming back out, perhaps. Pino going to stay on the ice. Same six to start the second and start of the first. We're ready to rock. We're ready to roll. Six in the lobby. Six to go. Back down on the ice for the, here for the second period of action. Hot Spring Cinnamon Bears defend the right cage in the red. Manitoba Mega Moose on the left side in the blue. Pino trying to find that shot lane early on. Forehand shot stopped by Galaxy at the point. Goes off Snail Pino near side into the corner. Here's Vlad Bacon with the puck now. Top side lobs this one down and in. Here's Pediatric Patrick, looks near side into the corner. Galaxy playing the more forward role here in the second period of game two. So they know they need to win this. Shooting off the post and wide. Pino, hands in the face, face on the desk, hoping that God will give him another chance. Pino on the near side, trying to stick check that one away. Vlad wins that one back over to Galaxy. Galaxy, top side, gets this one out to Patrick. Patrick, forehand, stopped by Pino. Pino, down low in the zone, pass out to Snail. Snail off the forehand, chips that one towards the cage. He's going to lean after it. Look for that pass back out to the slot. Finds Pino shooting. No, not able to get the shot released. But a swing of the stick. And out of everyone in the building, that might have been the biggest fan. Snail off the side of the cage. Galaxy top side stopped there by Pino. 4 7 to go here in the second. Cross size pass. Looking for Vlad Bacon on the top side. Hooking that one back over to Galaxy. Pino there trying to play the physical game. It was off to Snail in the corner. As he just tries to hook this one down low. Galaxy out to Vlad. Vlad at the point. Looking towards that near side for the cross size pass, but not able to find Pediatric Patrick. On the exit velocity, Pino tries to get after it off the forehand. Almost able to find Snail back at the far side faceoff circle. Here's Galaxy taking it out of the defensive end with a long distance shot. Awarded the save. Patrick near side, pulling, shooting. Save made by Snail. Zone comes back down to Agent P, the former pro and challenger player. Playing a few games in both divisions the past few seasons. 3.30 to go here in the second. Agent P stuffed there by Vlad. Looking to take this one back down to the defensive side. Snail top side. Not able to get that one through Galaxy. Snail. Near side. Agent P picks it up. Down low, lobs it in. Here's Galaxy with it once more. Galaxy. Fished off there by Snail. Agent P keeps it low. Galaxy here has the free puck towards that top side. Down the straight. Looking for Vlad. Vlad here with nobody to beat. Off the stick check of Agent P. Leaves it for Snail. Beautiful defense from the Cinnamon Bears side of the ice. What well, thought to be a hopeless situation. Really just banking it out unscathed due to just sheer willpower and hustle. Vlad Bacon. Back pass over to Galaxy. Galaxy top side looking down the straight over to Vlad. Vlad a forehand pass goes off Snail into the near side wall. Here's Agent P with it now. Patrick looking towards that top side. Stick check there by Pino. Agent P here near side finds his way over to Snail. Snail with two minutes 40 to go here in the second period. Galaxy almost able to find a treat on the far side post. Snail wins it back. Gets it near side. Pino. Pino backhand. Look for the point. Not able to find a shot lane. 
Pediatric Patrick took up all of the net from Snail Shot Attempt. He shoots and scars. He makes it 3 to 2. 2 minutes 28 to go. Patrick able to find that shot lane. One man back just had to pick a side and hope that he picked right. 2 minutes 32 seconds into the second. The silence has been broken here in this middle chapter of play. Here's Patrick. Right near side to Bacon. Bacon looking for that point pass. Galaxy sitting wide open, wanting the puck more than life itself at the near side point. Galaxy looking to travel that one down the near side, trying to take it himself, not able to run the gauntlet. There's both layers of defense, like the Washington Capitals out there. They know you got to go through three men to get to the get to the net. They're going to make you go through all three of them. Agent P goes off Bacon, back down low over to Galaxy. Galaxy here with one minute 52 to go here in the middle chapter of play here in game two. Manitoba need this win to stay alive here in the series. Shooting, scarring, Pino. Says, who's in charge, me or the devil? 147 to go. Finds a shot lane. Barely able to trickle past the defense. Patrick just barely a hair away from getting that save made. 146 to go. We're tied back again at threes. Great save by Galaxy right off the riff. Here's Pino. Top side. Looks for Snail. Off the post. And that one plinks out into the far distant. Galaxy gets this one down low. Patrick tries to get it back out in front. Here's Snail taking it away. One on one here with Bald Bacon. That one comes back off Patrick. Over to Agent P. P, top side, bank pass out of the zone. Stopped there by Vald. Vald not able to get that shot through the traffic. Agent P awarded that save, though. So he tries to get this one out. Shoot, he hits the post. Comes off the near side and swept away by Snail. 1.15 to go here in the second. Six goals into it. Nobody here with the lead. Snail, great stick check. Shoot, it's scarring. And, wow, who do you think you are? I am. 1.10 to go. Snail, the might of Zeus, comes down with a hammer. And there's our difference. Four, three. Hot Springs in the lead. Galaxy top side. Think pass there to himself. 60 seconds to go here in the second period of action. Snow trying to win that one back. And went off towards that point. Shot down into the near side corner. It's this one down the length of the ice. Manitoba just looking to give themselves some time to breathe. And Eric pass to Patrick. Finds his way back to Bacon. A shot goes wide. Here's Agent P here with it now. Off the back end, scoop down to Snail. Here's Galaxy here with it now. Galaxy down low, looks for Bald Bacon. Bald Bacon with a shot goes off Pino, then to Agent P. P able to get past Galaxy. Back end, shot goes off Bald Bacon to the near side. That was going to even up the shot totals. Here's Agent P with it now. 25 seconds remaining here in the second period of action. Top side, Snail getting a piece of that one. Would have been on. Great defense there by Pediatric Patrick. Pino there takes it away at the red line. Pino off Bacon. Brought down near side over Patrick. Patrick Dangle shoots scars, and we're tied. Going into this third intermission. Neither team really wanting to make it a, uh, a difference out there on the board. Wanting to keep it tight for the fans. Wanting to keep themselves in the game. Looking to make it a game three here tonight. 14 seconds remain here in the second. Once again, nobody with the lead. Here's Agent P with it now. Near side, trying to get this one towards the cage. Goes off ball, goes off snail. Back down low for Hot Springs. Agent P just going to hold on to that one. Loosen it up. And we have period three of the 4-4 ball game here in Hot Springs, Arkansas. It's going to be an interesting one. Hot Springs Arena can only facilitate one team to walk away with a victory. Which team is it going to be? Shots are even. Score is even. Maybe the opportunities are two. Two for Vaud, two for Patrick. Coming off the other side, Snell with a hat trick. Pino with one. Both teams taking a second, taking a minute, taking a hot second to uh, really think about how they want to go down with this one. Hot Springs taking a second to think about the lineup. I got I got nothing for you. Both teams playing a fabulous game so far. Keeping it close. Nobody really uh, giving up a, a large lead down on the ice. Manitoba, Hot Springs, sitting right now 4-4. Four four. I really don't know what we're waiting on.
I really don't know what we're waiting on. Make him Patrick Papanut ready to go. Snail Asian P. Pino to finish off game two. Third period, here we go. Minitoba left side in the blue. Hot Springs right side in the red. The puck's dropped. The game is on. Time is underway. Shot goes wide off the near side cage, or off the far side of the cage. Here's popping out with the puck now. Captain of Manitoba. Let me get this one near side. Asian P. I do want to say I did put a USA chant in. Um, it's not working, so if you do redeem it, I'll refund your points after the game's over. I don't have the time to do it right now. I don't know why it doesn't work. Try the defense chant. That one if that one doesn't work, I know what's wrong with it. Snail, top side. Looking to break this one down towards that near side lane. Big pass out to the point. Agent P here looking for that slot to push through. Papanut gets it near side. Stopped there by Agent P. Brought down low. Here's Snail. Snail out to the point. Goes off Pino. Down low to Snail. Papanut banks it off the near side boards. Here's Vlad Bacon. Goes off Snail near side Pino. Pino scoops down low. Here's Agent P once more with it for the Hot Spring Cinnamon Bears. Cinnamon Bears get this one down low. Over the stick of Pino. That one's going to come all the way back down into the defensive zone for Manitoba. Gets it out to Bacon. Bacon. Scoop top side over to Patrick. Patrick, forehand pass over to Vlad. Followed Bacon, trying to get that one towards the cage. Pino just fishes them back out to the neutral zone. Good stick checks there. Patrick, near side, finds his way to Bacon. Bacon, forehand pass, goes top side out to Patrick. Patrick down low, Bacon. Bacon looks near side with 3.42 to go here in the third period of action. Pino there, scoops it out to Snail. Snail here, backhand, hooking, shooting, and that one goes off the defense and in. Hot Springs, Cinnamon Bears, nine goals into it. Find a way to get on top five to four. Beautiful shot, 337. One goal's the gap. It's not a lot, but it's there. Pino looking to hook it out, Snail keeping it in. Pino looking to get that one back to Snail. Patrick there with a beautiful takeaway, taking this one down low in the defensive end. 323 to go here in the second, or the third period of action. The final period of regulation. Pass over to Vault, shoot it, scoring, and we're back even. As easy as it came is as easy as it went. 316 to go here in the third. It's five to five. Snail, Pino, off the forehand, finds his way top side. Snail looking down low, popping out here with a bank pass, looking near side. But not the vault. Vault Bacon shooting off the forehand, goes wide of the cage. Patrick scoop top side. Here's Bacon with an now backhand shooting. Nice stop there by Agent P. Agent P here hooks it near side. Pino looking for that shot lane, not able to find it. Here's Papanut, 2.53 to go here in the third. Papanut near side, goes off Pino down low over to Agent P. Agent P here off the forehand. Pass down to Pino, shooting off the post, still able to tuck it in. 6-5. Oh my goodness. The, I don't know how much of that was just the luck of the puck and how much of that was Snails just sitting in the right spot once again here tonight. But either way, Hot Springs on top, 6-5. Out in front, Bacon with a swing of the stick, not able to find the back of the net. Pino, near side. Goes off to the defensive end. Here's Agent P with it now. Agent P pinched off the board. It's Pediatric Patrick looking to bring this one back down on the defensive side. Forehand pass, top side. Pino swinging a miss, goes off to Bacon. Bacon off the backhand, shooting, save made by Agent P. Looking to scoop this one down near side. Almost got the step and popping up, but he's not going to be fooled that easily as Agent P throws this one down and in. Patrick, top side. Pino there stops him in his trails. Snail getting a few sticks in there. Forehand pass, top side, outer slot. Not able to get that one to a red jersey. Bacon keeps it low. Popping out here with the puck now. Popping out, top side. Bacon, forehand shooting. Goes near side off the face of Patrick. Patrick looking out in front. Pino goes off Patrick. Top side, Agent P loses the crease, but not able to find the shot to release it. Bacon shooting. Pino with a save. Goes off the top of his stick. Now goes out to the far side corner thanks to Agent P's positioning. Pino gets it out. P Patrick throws it back in. Bacon, top side point, Patrick out of the red line. Takes this one back down low. Here's Bacon, Bacon forehand, stopped there with a stick check by Snail. Scooped off to the near side, Bacon finds his way, Patrick back to Bacon. Bacon off the backhand, wraparound shooting, hits his own teammate. And Patrick gonna scoop this one to the top side point. Looking to break this one down low for Manitoba once more. Off the backhand, looking for the scoop. Pino there with a stick check, Snail gets it out. Goes off Patrick, goes off Pino, down low for the Hot Spring Cinnamon Bears, looking to stay alive. 11 goals into it, they have a one goal lead. Six to five with 1.16 to go here in the third. A lot of numbers, a lot of time. A lot of chances so far here in this game. Agent P, top side, going to loop that one down and in. Snail will trail after it. Popping up top side, Patrick, empty cage, forehand, backhand, shooting, scoring, a little Kucherov move. And we're tied six apiece. 
Patrick able to find a way to get it towards the cage, just barely on Pino. I know he's kicking himself for that one. And we're back tied up like a hog in a rodeo here. 102 to go here in the third. Agent P with a backhand shot, simmered over to Snail. Snail looking to get that one back out to the point. Hot Spring still in control. Here's Hot Agent P topside off the window. Snail out in front, heights the side of the cage, gets his own rebound though. That one pinches off the boards. Down off the wall by Pediatric Patrick. Agent P the first man to it. Stick check there by Vald Bacon. Bacon looking top side to get this one along the enemy end wall. Out to a teammate. Pino top side along that far side wall. Pediatric Patrick down low, finding his way off Vald Bacon. Shot out towards the crease, but nobody home to tuck it away. Agent P, Bacon top side, looking for that shot lane, not able to find it. Agent P here with 30 seconds remaining. Popping it back down to his own defensive end. We may have overtime here in game two. Bacon, Snail, hooking. Not able to find Pino back at the point. Would have put a series to bed here tonight. Bacon, Pino, stick tucked away. Bacon regains, shooting, looking for that crease. Not able to find it. Pino looking down low, finds Agent P. Here's Patrick with the takeaway. Ten seconds remain. Puts it out towards that slot. Snail takes it away. Forehand, seven seconds. Shooting, oh, what a save by Papanut. Papanut with three seconds remaining. 12 goals on the board, and that will send us into overtime. The puck is dropped. Here we go. One goal to win it. Manitoba stays alive with a game three with a goal. Hot Springs moves on into the conference finals with a goal here and now. Snail out in front. Pino shooting. Oh, what a save. Ball and Bacon back between the pipes. Coming up in a big way. Snail top side from the point. Shot down low. Ball and that goes home. Seven, six, the final score. 14 seconds in overtime. Pino just crashes the crease. Says, hey, how you doing? Shake my hand. Shake my hand. Game's over. Shake my hand. But work's not done yet. They still got the conference finals to go. Either way, a beautiful matchup for both sides of the ice. A nail biter till the end. And, well, some people are going to sleep well here tonight. We'll see. Uh, we'll just see how the boys are feeling. Hot Springs, 15 shots, 7 goals. Finding a way to get it out in two games, Manitoba. Finding a lot of shots during that matchup. Second game, way better than that first game. But it was not enough to uh, take the chances that they need to. A few post hits there, a few post hits here. Somehow Hot Springs almost had a, the same amount of post hit as they did goals. Don't know what that means, but that's that's certainly a statistic. Um, passing game very heavily in favor of Manitoba. Once again, you can pass it all you want, but if you don't put pucks in the net, there's only so much you can do. Um, yeah, popping up. Great game. Beautiful defensive play in the first game. Four of the team's five saves. Had three of the team's eight here in this one. Only played one period during that last moment. But uh, Bacon popping it. Absolutely beautiful play back between the pipes. Some of the most crucial saves I've ever seen in this league coming out tonight. And uh, just another absolutely beautiful segment of Slapshot here tonight. Pediatric Patrick, Vlad Bacon, both of them three goals here tonight. Just good stuff. Just good all-around slap shot. Hot Springs coming out in a big way. Having a few a few generated chances just based on sheer peer pressure and uh, opportunity knocking at the doorstep. Only three players played in the first game. Only three players played in that second game. And uh, Agent P, once again, hemming the crease. Some of the best shot blocking we've seen here this season in the prospect division. Five saves out of the team. Seven had the majority of possession time for his team. Pino, two goals. Snail with five. Addict not touching the ice in game two, but he helped lead his team to victory in game one. But uh, that's all I got for you here tonight. We'll come back at 9 o'clock for a little 6v6 slap shot. Yeah, congratulations to the Hot Spring Cinnamon Bears. Moving on to take on the Ottawa Drinkers. May the best prevail. But that's not until next week sometime. I don't know if I'll be around to cast it, but if I am, you'll see it here on the SPL Network. But uh, at 9 and 9.30, we have two undefeated teams playing at 9.30. And then Brooklyn Bandits looking to make playoffs against the uh, Vancouver Vanilla. But for now, that's all I'm gonna. That's all we got here on the SBL Network. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for all the support. Thanks for hanging out. I'll make sure to get your points refunded for the uh, broken USA chant that for some reason just doesn't work. But uh, yeah, thank you, Flock the Duck, for the resub going eight months strong. I appreciate you immensely. Thank you for all the big names in red: Irvion, Eli, Jastronics, Minsnota, Gubby, M Dub, Unglued Snail, Manny, Q Silver, Cloudy, Davo, and Renard. Appreciate all your continued support. With that being said. For tuning in. Um, that's all I got for you. It was a good matchup. Boys played their hearts out. Sometimes they go, sometimes they don't. That's just the way she goes. Going for the underdogs. Ottawa versus Ottawa Finals. That'd be wild. Ottawa versus Ottawa Valley. Be nice if I, if I, if I, it really would just be nice if I could cast every game. But uh, my voice really cannot take that. But, um, 
Yeah, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching Slapshot. We'll be back here at 8.45 for the next two matches here tonight. We'll see uh, We'll see how they prevail. 6 v 6, a very strange, uh, a very strange format. The one that I think a lot of people like, contrary to the 3v3. Uh, so, we'll keep it around. But uh, that's all, all I got for you here so far here in this broadcast. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Darth Taxil. Hopefully we'll see you guys in the next broadcast. But with that being said, I hope you all have a great afternoon, a great evening, and a great night.